if you're seeing things running through your head, who can you call? Ghostbusters! And that we're gonna do, ladies and gentlemen. Hello people and very much welcome to my gaming channel. This is Forty Splish Splash and today we're gonna take a look into the new Ghostbusters game. I guess you guys saw the original movie back in the days. Too bad though there's no Bill Murray here to, you know, look at and laugh at. But still there are new characters in the game and uh, we're gonna take a look into it and talk a bit about the gameplay and how it works and all that stuff. Uh, so this is a third-person action role-playing game and it's featuring single-player and local couch co-op multiplayer for up to four players. This is taking place after the events of the film and players are commanding a squad of rookie Ghostbusters through Manhattan's most haunted environments. And are, they are about to discover some hidden collectibles and ridding the city of rogue spirits. And as you can see, you can choose the characters here. Uh, there's actually four distinct heroes to choose from and each character can be upgraded with new gear and abilities throughout the adventure and um, as you see here I'm, I'm using a kind of scan it's a kind of good thing to see the paranormal activity as you go along and it uh, also sometimes it you find different symbols that actually gives you some some in-game money you might say that is good for the upgrades and all in the beginning you meet quite easy enemies as you see here some skulls floating coming at you and it's a good way to get used to the game and the weapons uh, as we said you s can swap quite fast between the weapons and right here I'm playing with this girl and I have these uh, pistols uh, later on you will also see when we actually catch a ghost and how you do that by the way I'm playing this on the PS4 and uh, as you see you can find different things that you pick up collected and all and this is good for you and your team and uh, overall I can say uh, usually I play on PC it took some time again to get my you know feel into using the controller but it felt good it was well explained so it didn't take too much time to actually get into the gameplay and and have fun here I'm playing by myself so the rest of the team is the AI and they they work pretty well you saw that we were healing right there it's quite generous in the game when it comes to healing uh, maybe a bit too generous I didn't see if I could actually you know do uh, another setting when it comes to playing on a harder level maybe that's possible uh, if so I'm gonna definitely definitely do that this is the first kind of boss we meet and um, this is the first time I also start to use this proton beam or whatever it's called you know to to actually catch the ghost into the box as we've seen in the movies which is a great feature as you see the game is very colorful and the rating of the game is 12 so I guess you know if you're uh, a kid you can definitely play the game as well and have a lot of fun here you see I get in some information how to use this proton beam and uh, wrangle the ghost into the box you will see how it works uh, first you have to you know actually get the beam onto the ghost and then when you do that you have to since I'm using controller here you can see uh, down there that you have to follow the kind of instructions uh, moving the right stick into the right place and direction in order to keep the ghost in your beam so to speak and then you can uh, start to smash it to the ground it gets very exhausted and after a while you can actually throw out the trap as I'm doing here and voila you have the ghost uh, for, at first I didn't see that you can press one button like the uh, X button here and you will get some uh, extra points for that later on I got that so I started to do it and from there we will move on and I think we managed to play the first level that's what you've seen here taking care of the first uh, boss in the game you might say actually the whole picture behind there is falling down so then you're able to do the upgrades uh, I had actually no clue what I was doing here in the beginning uh, but this is a st system as you see where you uh, get more and more you know upgrades to be used in the game and for the different characters in the next level I you know I change character just to check something else and I have this big dude and uh, shooting with this minigun that was quite a lot of fun the different characters also have different kind of guns even if they go in the same kind of theme when it comes to these proton guns and they actually have a cooldown also you can see that and I try to be aware of that and sometimes you just have to press R1 on the PlayStation controller to actually you might call it reload but it's actually more of a cooldown thing here you see again we're trapping a ghost and we're banging it to the ground uh, following the instructions and also getting it into the trap eventually 
Now we could start to talk about what I feel about the game. Uh, I played just maybe two, two and a half hours, something in the game. And my first impression is that it's, you know, it's fun. I think the, um, you might say the initial scenes we saw when it comes to the cinematic and, and the small storyline is quite neat. And again, I think this is a great uh, game for, for kids or, you know, those of you that are like me, adult, <laughs> like the Ghostbusters series or and films. So paying like 40 bucks for a game that does feel a bit repetitive after a while might be on the upper side of things. Maybe it should have been like 20, 25 dollars. I don't know. Let me know what you think. And maybe you're better off to wait and see if you're gonna get an opportunity to buy the game for a sale or something. Let me know what you think uh, by watching this and also if you have been playing the game, please share your opinions in the comment section and let us talk about it. We have come to an end both when it comes to this uh, level and we're also reaching an end of this video. So thanks again, big thanks for watching, thumbs up and all that. See you soon, bye bye. This is for the Splish Splash. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to give a like, share the video and maybe also tell me what you thought about it in the comment section. You can also click the annotations if you want to see more from me. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and you will get more content coming your way. Have a great day. Bye bye.